We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers. These two square off on the diamond right after this. Matthew Boyd will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, he's a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Here's Byron Buxton now. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Nope. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. So, guys, these Tigers, as they begin play here tonight, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, this place is buzzing right now. This team won the opener of the series yesterday, and they're looking to step on this team's throat and take the first two games of this series. Therefore, it is Cabrera, one away. And now here's a look at the Minnesota Twins starting lineup. What's your take as they try to get back to their winning ways, Dero? Yeah, Matty, what I want you to focus on is the fact that this team does not like to run. Very station to station. It's going to take a couple of hits to score runs with this offense. They swing the bats well, but they don't put any pressure on the defense as far as base running. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. Lifetime numbers against Matt Boyd. He's got five base hits in 24 at bats. He also has one home run. The 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Expected to get a little cooler as we go on, but the temperature at game time 68 degrees. The 1 1. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Batting third, the second baseman, Luis Arroyo. Stepping in, Luis Arroyo's first chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now the pitch. Liner toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So some success with two out keeps the inning alive for Miguel Sano. Not in time and he's in there with a double. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning even with two outs. Now your cleanup man steps to the plate and has a chance to drive in the first run of the game. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Miguel Sano good opportunity for him to add to his season RBI total here which currently sits as third best in the American League. Yeah and I think a lot of people are surprised by that. Listen it's still early. I'm not saying he won't keep this up but things tend to even out as the season goes along. Too low one and oh. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. the set and the 1 0 who pulled the string and had him way out in front a ball and a strike. This is an awesome matchup especially at this moment in time. You got some guys that are fighting for some serious hardware and I want to see how this shakes out. Turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. Arrives, stands at second with two gone. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Jake Odorizzi, a right-hander from Illinois, will be the starter here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? 
Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws strikes. He's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality innings in this one. Standing in, Victor Reyes. He'll lead things off here in the bottom oh, half yeah. of the first. And now pitch on the way. Taken, but called a strike. And guys, as we take a look at the Twins at the start of play here tonight, they come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Yeah, Maddie, this team has definitely been struggling recently, and then you get a look up right now, and you're going to face the ace. Somebody has to step up for this team. I'll tell you what, if they're able to score a few early runs off him and put him on the defensive, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team. And it's 2-1 to the Tigers' leadoff hitter. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So the base is empty here with one away. And into bat next, it'll be Jamer Candelario. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. And set up working the plate is Larry Bullard, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Hey, Dero, Larry Bullard, he's pretty much right down the middle. You see very few managers and players getting into very many confrontations with Larry. Yeah, Larry lays in the weeds, Dan. Doesn't try and make it about him, and that's what the players love. He's got a pretty consistent strike zone, and he's approachable. And there are two away now. The first base and now a look at the hometown Tigers starting lineup in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, someone that's been struggling a bit is Jonathan Scope. When it comes to facing right-handed pitching this season, he's hit under 200. I just can't figure it out. He's too good of a player to hit 200 facing anybody. So he'll be looking to figure that part of the game out ASAP. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. They'll come into play here at 319. Four home runs, 39 driven in. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Two out, nobody on. To short, hit hard. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Detroit. Still no score. Striding forward now is the D.H. Nelson Cruz. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. This guy can do just about everything when he's in the lineup. In the top five in the league in runs scored, and he's a big part of this offense. So there's more to this guy than just swinging the bat. He can get on base, too. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1-0. Cruz, the former Seattle Mariner, he was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come offseason. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So the Twins put their leadoff hitter on to get the inning started. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit.
at the plate, Eddie Rosario. Swing and oh my, hit him with the hind. And that ball will stay fair and it's gone, a home run. So a two-run homer down the line in right field. Home run number 15 for him thus far as the Twins have taken a 2 to nothing lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. 289 is the average coming in. Six home runs, 27 driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Lined into right, a base hit. Stepping into the box, Josh Donaldson. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here comes the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. From the belt, kicks and deals, fouled off. And another foul ball. A runner at first with no outs here. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 1-2. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two to second for one on the first and Donaldson's gone as well. It's a double play. Batting gun. The catcher. Alec Avila. So base is empty now after the double play. And now it'll be the catcher Alex Avila. First pitch on its way. Pitch on its way to Avila. Ball one. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Now here it comes. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stewart is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. But two-run score for the Twins, both coming on this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 2-0 Minnesota. Next will be the cleanup hitter, C.J. Crone. He enters this one second in the American League in round trippers. And not surprisingly, he's also near the top of the league in slugging percentage, which means not every ball's leaving the yard. A lot of extra base hits in this guy's arsenal. Here's the first pitch to him. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate.
A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. Standing in now, Nico Goodrum. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. They'll come in here at 259. 15 long balls and 38 runs batted in. The 1 0. That's in, ball two. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Popped up. And there's out number two. Batting two. The second baseman. Got us there. Go. Go. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Here comes the first pitch. Hit in the air out toward left. Rosario is there. And that retires the side. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Matt Vaskersian, Mark DeRosa, and Dan Klesak back with you as Byron Buxton readies to lead off the inning. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch high and tight here to begin the inning it's ball one. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did it's ruled a strike. And he comes back with a fastball one and two now. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight changeup, right? El Cambio. Hadn't seen it in that entire at bat. What happens? Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. To the plate now, Max Kepler. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. Line to the right side. Frazier is there, two down. Up next for Minnesota, the second baseman. Luis. Ready for another Arias. chance. Luis Arias one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Yeah he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. And he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate it's one and one. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Now here it comes. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. 
We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Twins two and the Tigers nothing. Back now for the Tigers third turn at bat and unfortunately for them and their fans this lineup hasn't really found its stride this season. At the start of the day they ranked towards the bottom of the league in both on base percentage and runs scored. As one player put it it's been a frustrating year because we feel we have a lot more ability than we're putting out right now. Another hitter told me they're working every day on having more disciplined at bats hoping that leads to better counts to hit in. We'll wait and see if the adjustments lead to results as the season progresses, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Up next steps Kristen Stewart, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah! The 0-1 on its way. And right into the shift. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's 1-2. and two. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Gonzalez is there. One out. So with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the American League's Central Division as you see where these two teams find themselves entering our ballgame here today. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the catcher, Austin Romine. First pitch of the at bat. Hey, love the pitcher attack in the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. One and two to the Tigers catcher. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. The 1 2. Weak rounder back to the mound. On to first, and there were two down. Batting up. The right fielder. Next up for Detroit, Clint Frazier. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Two out, nobody on. This is to left field and deep off the bat of Frazier. And it's off the wall in front of the bullpen. And he will get in there at second base as he's got himself a wall ball double. Every hitting coach in the league will tell you it only takes one swing of the bat to get out of the slump, and maybe that's what we're seeing right here. He's been struggling, no doubt about it, but he's able to lace this thing off the wall, and he's standing at second with some newfound confidence. Digging in for his second at bat, Victor Reyes, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Pitch coming, here it is. And a foul tip held on to here at strike one. Yeah. 
And he falls behind 0 and 2. Odorizzi comes set. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. One hit, one left. On now to the top of inning number four. Twins are out in front, two to nothing. Into the box, Miguel Sano. And he's the reigning American League Player of the Month. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Rising fastball, then it catches the zone for a strike. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Reyes is right there, one down. Now batting, designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. Striding in once again, Nelson Cruz. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Looking up is the left fielder, still ranging back. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. A solo home run from Nelson Cruz. And that is 27 for him on the year as the Twins have made it a 3 to nothing ball game. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. The left field, number 20. At the plate Eddie. now, Eddie Rosario. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. A one count. Here's the pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. And it's fouled away. Three runs, five hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. And the slider gets him swinging to God. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. So now to the plate, Marwin Gonzalez. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Gonzalez is a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches, or his front office for that matter. Yeah, he has the ability. What I love about this ball player, he's got such a great internal clock. It seems like it's bang, bang. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. But the Twins add on thanks to this solo shot. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 3-0 in favor of the Twins. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one.
Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. First baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in. He grounds it sharply to third. Oh, look at the sliding stop. And that's an incredible effort to get the second out of the inning. Now back the designated hitter, CJ Crow. Next to the plate for the Tigers, the DH, CJ Crone, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Hey. Called strike at the knees. One and one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Hey. Fastball called strike. One and two. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. The one two. Misses ball two. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Kepler's on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Tigers. They trail in this one 3 0. Josh Donaldson digging in now. Leading off to the Twins, the first baseman, Josh Donaldson. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0 1. Hey. Donaldson, commonly known as the bringer of rain around the game, he was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Josh Donaldson is retired to kick off the inning. First pitch of the at-bat. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. You know, you love a guy who attacks the zone, but sometimes I think you could throw too many strikes. That could be the case right here. This offense is going to the plate, just pulling the trigger on everything. Hey. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Now a check swing here. Did he go around? No, says the third base umpire, Patrick Johnson. It's ball one. Pulled toward right center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The center fielder, number 25, Byron Buxton. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Byron Buxton. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far.
first offering on its way. You have to be careful. You can't sleep on the bunt right here, even with two outs. They're playing him back, but this guy can handle the bat. And, oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. For the Tigers. Not Bottom of the inning now, and stepping up as the shortstop, Nico Goodrum. Here's the first pitch to him. Help. One and one. One, two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Here's Jonathan Scope now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Nope. And it's one and one. One and one. Ready with the one one pitch. Ooh, jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Into the box now, Kristen Stewart. And right into the shift. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Odorizzi's ready, coming at him with the 0-1. Swing and he pulls the fastball high in the air toward deep right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. Still down, three nothing. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. Max Kepler. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. 
looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. At the plate, Luis Arias as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Three runs, five hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Lying toward the gap in left center. And now a lunging catch, and he does a full gainer as well, but somehow hangs on for the second out. Miguel So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Down go the Twins in order. They lead it 3-0. to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Austin Romine will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. First pitch of the at-bat. Ball one, no strike. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. 2 1 0. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Got through the fifth, all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Stop by the post office to get stamps on the way to mailing in that swing. It's three and two now. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 to punch him out. One away. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. Stepping in now, Clint Frazier. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. In time to first, and there are two away. So the lineup flips over and digging in Victor Reyes. 
He was a ground out victim last time up. First delivery to him on the way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. Oh. Not even close with the 1-0. Oh. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. Yeah, Matt, he's so locked in and pretty dominant base since base the base. first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And into bat next, it'll be Jamer Candelario. Odorizzi comes set. Here's the pitch. No doubt, this is a steal situation right here. Two outs and the leadoff hitter on first. This is the time you roll the dice and hope he gets in the scoring position where he can get a hit to bring him home. And he misses with it one and one. A runner on first with two away. Taken, but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Runners off for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down he is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big. And plus, this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. The 2-2. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Tigers leave one. They trail it here three to nothing. Jose Cisnero is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 67. Jose Cisnero. Here's Nelson Cruz now. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. Yeah, Matt, that last A.B. was a changeup that was way up in the zone, and that ball got smoked. Listen, if you're going to throw that changeup, you have to try to keep that thing at the knees or below. He can ill afford to throw waist high to belt high changeups. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Hit down the line at first, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. to the plate now Eddie Rosario pulled toward right center field long run for the center fielder he gets there and that's the second out the batter number nine shortstop Marlon Gonzalez
Digging in the switch hitter, Marwin Gonzalez. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Twins are set down one, two, three. But they lead it three nothing. Now with the plate, Miguel Cabrera, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, 0-1. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Hit to third. Scooped up. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Now back, the designated hitter. And next it'll be the Tigers cleanup hitter CJ Crone. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The 1-0. One out, nobody on. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there. Check pitch on a swing. That ball wasn't even close to the zone. The 2-1. Nope. That's inside. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3-1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Oh, a good pitch there as he had him fooled badly, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here. Just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game. Executing a nasty slider down the way right there, giving this offense no chance. Into the corner and slicing foul. The next three, two. And it's fouled away. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting, good stop, Nico, good draw. Now at the plate, Nico Goodrum. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. First offering on its way. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Kepler has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Down in order go the Tigers. They trail in this one, three nothing. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to battle be the first baseman, Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson. Now here's the pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. A one and one count now to Donaldson. A 
two ball one strike count to the Twins first baseman. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And he lays off so it's full now three and two. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter. Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up. This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Ladies and gentlemen. Your attention so with a left handed hitter waiting they'll go to their own left hander out of the bullpen. Number 65. Gregory. Soto. Pitch on its way to Avila. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. There's one on to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. They played the matchup there, and it worked out perfectly. Ground ball double play. And that changes the complexion of this inning entirely. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, we used to have a saying right here you would stride to the plate for this AB trying to chop wood. Not in today's game. You just want to get your bat plane on the same path of the ball can't continue to swing under those elevated heaters. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. Now batting. The right fielder. Max Kepler. Now batting. Max Kepler. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Ball. Damn. He's going. He's, he's going, running. He's going. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too, but he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the third. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Popped him up. Candelario in foul ground. But this will land untouched. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be laid on that fastball. The 2-2. Two -two. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got it. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. Twins wind up stranding one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Now in the box, Jonathan Scope. We're in the eighth now, we and nothing's well, changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. First delivery to him on the way. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Oh. 
shoots this one over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now back. Number four. It's been a low scoring affair. Three to nothing our score as we show you the numbers for our two starters to this point in the contest. Digging in once again, Kristen Stewart. 0 for 2, he's flown out twice. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he lays off there 1 and 0. Right side and right into the shift. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, some guys look out there, Dan. They don't care. They can't execute the ball the other way. It's not that easy. They're going to hit it as hard as they can right into the shift and let the chips fall where they may. You know, it's hard, d -Row, when you've come up all the way through high school, little league, college ball, and the minor leagues, and you're used to pulling the ball. That's the type of hitter you are. Some of these hitters are going to have to try to make some changes with these exaggerated shifts. A ball and no strikes. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Ball and no strikes. Here it is. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Pitch is popped up. Donaldson over to his left, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting, right fielder. Wait. Play zero. Riding into the box, Clint Frazier. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. This year against right handed pitching, Frazier brings a batting average in the low 220s to the table. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. One and one, the count to Clint Frazier. And he's way off balance with the swing there. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate, good command of the off-speed pitches, very little traffic on the bases. So far, he couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One left for Detroit. Still down, 3-0. David McCain enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now at the plate, Luis Arias. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Luis Arias. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Now here it comes. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And this one's inside and high. One and two now. Line toward right center. 
But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Here's Miguel Sano. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Ball and a strike. We got a ball, one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Fly ball out to right field. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. Up next to the twin, the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First offering on its way. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Last pitch was a fastball, tries to double up with the same piece of cheese, and it gets turned around. Nice piece of hit. Eddie Rosario will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. Here comes the first pitch. Hey! A hey, pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Rosario behind with an 0 and 2 count. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Ball. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off 1 and 2. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. From the stretch. And here's a slider that misses below the knees. It's ball four. Well, when you go with a slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And into bat next, the utility man extraordinaire Marwin Gonzalez. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. And the runner is in from second. He pulls into third safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. Wow, they're hitting on all cylinders as the lead increases to five now. Nice job there to drive the ball into the gap and turn on the Jets for a triple. Digging in, Josh Donaldson. It was a walk in his last trip. Yeah. 
first pitch of the at bat. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that's through into center field, base hit. And add one more as this is now a 6 nothing ball game. You know what I like right there, Dan, is the batter's approach. Not trying to do too much, just taking it right back up the chute again, staying within himself, and just knowing that anything to the outfield gets him an RBI. Now that's a good piece of hitting. That's a great point, d -Roy. I think a lot of times hitters go up there trying to do a little bit too much. Sometimes you just have to go ahead and hit the ball where it's pitched, and a good job, and a run batted in. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Good swing there, but this is fouled off to the right side. Line to the right side. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that the center fielder. Tyler Alexander comes on to pitch now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. In now Byron Buxton as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike he comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day here comes the 0 1 and this catches the zone as well it's 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. Twins lead it six to nothing. Digging in and looking for more, Victor Reyes. And Dan, what's we gone go. wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Well, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Good curveball there gets the swing and miss. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now. 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing now strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's Gaver. even more impressive? No walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Standing in now, Jimer Candelario. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And with one out in the ninth, he's just now coming up on his 100th pitch of the ball game. 
Yeah, Matty, he's going to finish this one on adrenaline if he's allowed to. We'll see how the manager plays this one. I know guys like Dan Plesak were locked and loaded in this position. Oh, this, this is right now a dream if you're out in that bullpen right now. Your starting Bell, pitcher Bell. gets First you base. into the ninth inning. The guys, that, if they do get up in the ninth Bell, inning, Bell, these Bell. are the best relievers, and they're just lurking out there. What a terrific job up to this point. Standing in, Miguel Cabrera. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey. Oh, and one. Line towards center field. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth, totally dominant in this one. A 6 0 shutout to finish off tonight's game. The Twins took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jake Odorizzi wins his team leading 10th game of the year and it's a dandy a complete game three hit performance. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show for more. Find us on the Twitter at MLB the show for the victorious Twins. Six runs ten hits no errors they left four men.